Hello, new wave of British heavy metal.com here today. It's the 19th of June 2022. If I could start with the usual opening request for a favour, and that's if you would please subscribe to the channel, that would be excellent. Every subscriber helps and is appreciated. So please hit the button if you would. Right, today, a uh, little bit of trip back down memory lane for me. Uh, band is Wally. Uh, now, in, in, in the early 1970s, progressive rock was, was big over here in the UK. You know, we had the likes of Yes, Genesis, Gentle Giant, and any others that you care to mention. You know, they, they ruled the roost, so to speak, at the time. And Wally, certainly in my opinion at least, back then was a band which certainly should have been up there with, with, with the, uh, you know, the, the Yeses and the Genesises and whatnot. But unfortunately for them, it was just two albums, two excellent albums, and, and that was it. They were gone. Now, I'd all but forgotten about them until reasonably recently when I had a, was having a conversation with a friend from Harrogate, which was Wally's stomping ground. And as we do, you know, we, 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 we both we, we got talking about, in, you know, the new wave of British heavy metal and, and prog, which we both grew up on. And Wally, Wally came up in conversation. So uh, when I got home, a little bit of clicking around to, to, to refresh my memories of Wally. And I found that uh, Cherry Red, well, the Esoteric's Cherry Red, had, had reissued both Wally albums as a, as a double CD entitled Martyrs and Cowboys, The Atlantic Recordings. Duly pressed the order button and uh, it arrived very promptly. And, you know, I immediately spun them and transported myself back in time 40 odd years and uh, remembered just how good Wally were back then. They, they, they had the, uh, used the electric violin and steel guitar in, in amongst all the proggy stuff, which, which gave them a bit of a USP. And um, they even came to the attention of none other than Rick Wakeman and whispering Bob Harris, you know, old grey whistle test. And surely that, that, that was going to be it for Wally, wasn't it? You know, big names like that behind them. They, they were on the up and up, weren't they? Mm, well... The debut self-titled album was produced by Rick and Bob, uh, released in 1974. It's a sublime effort of consummate musicianship, well-crafted progressive rock, some folky-type leanings in there, some excellent harmonies going on. Think, think something along the lines of uh, Bob James Harvest mixed with curved air, I, I guess, in, in some ways. The opening track, The Martyr, uh, is, is, is a real killer. The violin-based intro, really good before it stretches out into seven or so minutes of classic prog, as good as you'll hear anywhere. And To the Urban Man, similarly stirring, a bit epic, showing the band's talents, as do songs such as Just Wanna Be a Cowboy, which are generally more restrained and not, not, not unlike, say, early Eagles even. Wally's second album came out the following year, uh, Valley Gardens, which is named after an area of Harrogate, this is generally more consistently leaning towards like classic progressive rock with, with their own twist on it. In, in particular, the title track and the really superb 20 odd minutes or so of The Reason Why, which takes up the whole second side of the album. Most impressive slab of 1970s style prog rock. It, it meanders over those 20 minutes. It's got it all and then some. And uh, the, it's based around the charge of the Light Brigade, marvellously evocative stuff. Despite much critical acclaim, things wouldn't work out for Wally. Support slots with Yes on a major American tour and the Eagles on a UK, uh, sorry, European tour fell through. As did Atlantic support, they kind of threw in the towel and, and that was it for Wally. It's such a shame, as, as surely had, had that Yes tour gone ahead in, in America, for example, They'd surely have gone down really well with, with Yes Yes fans on that tour and, you know, given them the breakout that they deserved. Now, the an anthology, you know, the, the, the two albums available from Cherry Red as I uh, record this, 19th of June 2022, you can get it for the, the measly price of £11.99 plus postage. And that is a small price to pay for two albums from, from a band who surely should have been up there with Yes, Genesis, Barker, James Harvest, and all the rest of the early prog, 1970s prog rock giants. Um, get over there and buy it. It's, it's a steal for that price. I'll put a link directly to Cherry Red in, in, the, in the description box below. 
so you can do that um, please subscribe to the channel before you go that would be excellent click the button and as always thanks for watching thanks for listening and take care